Hello there, I'm Todd Kerfman for The Developer Show, and this is your update on the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. A few weeks ago at Google I.O., we released a major update to AR Core, Google's augmented reality development platform. We built some experiences to showcase how the new APIs come to life, including this totally fun multiplayer turret game that I played, and they are now open sourced. So to see these experiences in action, get some insights from behind the scenes, and find links to the GitHub repos, head on over to the post in the link below. The latest What's New in Chrome is out, highlighting everything new in Chrome 67. Check out the post and video to learn more about desktop progressive web apps, the generic sensor API, and Big Ints. Oh, I like Big Ints, and I cannot lie. As you may have heard, on May 25th, a new piece of European legislation came into force, the General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR as the cool kids like to call it. The Firebase team has been working hard over the past few months to help ensure that you have the resources you need to comply with these regulations, including new GDPR-friendly terms, a way to specify a data processing officer or EU representative in the Firebase console, as well as new docs and guides. Check out the post for screenshots and links to everything. Also, you now have another email from some company about how they've updated their privacy policy. And eh, maybe you should read it. Data Studio is Google's next-gen business intelligence and data visualization platform, and community connections for Data Studio let you build connectors to internet-accessible data sources using Google Apps Script, which means that you can view data from many different sources in one convenient report. Check out the post for some more detail, as well as a link to the new Community Connector Code Lab so you can get started today. As part of our constant efforts to improve Google's OAuth application ecosystem, we're launching additional protections that can limit the spread of malicious applications. Apps requiring OAuth will be subject to a daily total new user cap and a new user acquisition rate limit, although these rates will initially be set to something close to your app's current usage, so the impact for most of you should be pretty minimal. But for more details and a link to request a rate limit quota increase, head on over to the post. So there you have it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Todd Kerpelman for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next week. Crazy twos. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 one,